There are also people that we've noticed have a higher incidence of doping atrial fibrillation, and these are actually endurance athletes. Now, we're talking about not just your simple weekend warrior who just goes into the gym on the weekend and you know, does a little bit. We're talking about athletes who run or cycle 20, 30, 40, 50 miles a day on a regular basis. These are very healthy, fit individuals who are super exercising, super muscular, super healthy, and they eat very well. They're not overweight, they don't have high blood pressure, they don't have sleep apnea, they don't have diabetes, and yet there's actually a higher incidence in endurance athletes compared with the regular population. The people you would think should have the least incidence of atrial fibrillation actually have a higher incidence. And that's because, once again, atrial fibrillation is caused by inflammation and stretch of the walls of the left atrium. And when you have somebody who's doing cycling or running 20, 30, 40 miles daily on a regular basis, yes, when you exercise, you create some inflammation, you break down muscle cells and you create inflammation and you build back more muscle cells. But a little bit of inflammation is good. That could heal your wounds, it can build up new muscle. But chronic inflammation from constantly putting your heart through this stress actually can create more AFib cells or actually develop atrial fibrillation. 